Um, now, imagine this, you're lazing by the pool abroad, you've got a cocktail in one hand, you've got a book in the other, the sun is shining, you're in total bliss. And then a rowdy group of tourists, some drunk, others with screaming children, arrive at the pool, ruining your moment. Now, that problem is now so bad in some hotels in Ibiza and Mallorca, they're now blacklisting groups in a bid to stop other people's holidays being ruined. So, you know, some people think group holidays are amazing, other people think they should be banned. What do you think? Well, I have just come back from a group holiday. Right. 36 of us in Cornwall. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 36? 36, all with children age ranges 4 to 24. And we do this every two, three years. Yeah. And it's always brilliant. <laughs> like, I hear all of these things and say, you know, how, how you know, they, everybody falls out and somebody's moaning because somebody's washing too many knickers or, or you know, uh, nobody does the washing up. But actually, what we found is, is we all kind of play to our own strengths. So we've got one girl who's very, very organised um, and she also likes to do a lot of fitness. So she runs a boot camp and if you want to go, you go. And if you don't, she doesn't care because she wants well, to do it the anyway. Point. I mean, it's having the choice, isn't it, of either exactly. doing it yeah. if you have an organising type person or not. Yeah, that's it. And so we just play to everybody's strengths. One person... Where really are all the kids? Because well, that sounds like my idea of a nightmare. Do you have them in a compound that's locked at a certain time and throw food in? We do have <laughs> couples. We do have couples who come along who are child-free and yeah. actually they do choose to come to the beach with the children, which no. is... Yeah, they do. I'm going to get you on that holiday and you're going to come to the beach Never. with the children. Janet could be the nanny. She'd be oh, great, Janet. <laughs>